And so what happened when things went bad, we didn't have access to all those computer chips that were being made in Asia and other parts of the world. So I got in the plane and went to South Korea. Oh, it was so close. Remember those little computer chips that we were, we invented those suckers, about the size of the end of a fingertip? Guess what? You need 300 of them three, to build, build an automobile. You need them for cell phones. You need them for all kinds of things. And we had lost that market. We had lost that market completely. So I got in the plane. I flew to South Korea. They said, what the hell are you doing to South Korea? They said, what the hell are you doing to South Korea? This turkey is totally brain dead. Because the alliance between the Republic of Korea and the United States of America is a linchpin of peace, stability, and prosperity for a region of the world that we seek. So thank you all very much, and President Moon, Yoon, thank you. President Moon, Yoon, thank you. We've had more picture taken together lately that he's going to, probably going to hurt his reputation back home. But, <laughs> but, but I am friends with your leader, Mr. Moon, you know, home. We're a good guy. You're an idiot. We passed this Chips and Science Act, which has led to a commitment over $300 billion in investments in manufacturing in the United States. You know, when the Korean company SI, you know, when the Korean company SI said, I, I was in Korea, South Korea, asked them, why were they investing in America? Buddy, do you not hear how pathetic everything out of your mouth sounds? When I got in a plane and went to South Korea, they said, what the hell are you, what the heck are you doing, Joe? <laughs> I said, I'm going to try to convince them to invest here. Why? Remember we had the supply chain issues? We couldn't get these chips? Well, guess what? Samsung came and the Samsung came and the Samsung came and the, met with the president of South Korea. I'm a big dumb moron.